I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of the chargers are starting to get really, really small and really, really powerful. We're starting to see power delivery of 100 watts in, in devices. And uh, the magic behind that is the new semiconductor technology called gallium, gallium nitride. So I'm here with the people who make that happen, Navitas. And this is apparently my cousin, Eugene. His yeah. name is Eugene Sheridan, <laughs> yeah, the right. CEO of Navitas. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Great to meet you. All right, Long so we're gonna get we're gonna get nerdy, right? You're yes, gonna talk about right. where where did we come from? What did we have before gallium nitride? Yeah, so for 30 years, power electronics, power supplies, adapters, chargers like this have been designed with a silicon chip. Silicon was okay, but it's actually pretty slow, pretty inefficient. And when switching power supplies are slow, they're big and bulky. They can't deliver a lot of power. They are big in size if you try to deliver more power. Do they have a lot of heat loss too? Exactly, and if they're inefficient, inefficiency means the power is wasted as heat instead of getting to your mobile device for fast charging. That is all changing with gallium nitride. We finally invented a new technology to re replace this 30-year-old silicon workhorse called gallium nitride, or GAN. It is up to 100 times faster and more efficient than silicon. And it's the engine or the heart of these chargers that can deliver a lot of power to your mobile device and don't waste it. The charging efficiencies can be up to 95%, which means almost all that power is getting to your battery where That's you want fantastic, it. fantastic and way more better for the environment as well. Exactly. So, uh, but gallium nitride is, hadn't just been invented. That's been around for a long time, right? That's right. What, what changed? I mean, it's like in the last year, all of a sudden, gallium nitride's everywhere. Yeah, and it, it seems like that to the consumer because it seems to come out of nowhere. But in reality, for 20 years, people are working out the fundamental physics, fundamental reliability, improving cost structure, setting up manufacturing plants. And we came along in the last five years to solve the last layer of the problem, which is usually the application problem, kind of like the internet. It's an awesome raw capability. What do you do with it? We took that GAN chip and found this application and had to design it to be optimized for chargers, GAN chargers. And we came up with the world's first GAN Power IC where we can integrate a bunch of circuits, not just the transistor, which is the heart of it, but a bunch of analog, digital, and power circuits all on a GAN chip. We're the first company to do that and apply that to GAN chargers. When we did that, we made it easy to design them, cost-effective to design them, and commercially ready. And now we're seeing commercially ready becoming a reality. With 25 GAN chargers shipping today, probably be 50 of these shipping next year. Wow, that is fantastic. I have seen a couple of companies going, okay, three months, we've got one coming out, we've got one coming out. They're not all here yet, but they're uh, but they're also a lot smaller as well. How, what, what caused that to happen? Because yeah, so, the efficiency? Yeah, no, well, it's a combination of efficiency because you've got to get the heat out. If you make it smaller, you have the same amount of heat, it just makes it hotter. To right, your right, that's what I was wondering, that. how are you cooling it? So these? you've got to get the really efficient, like 95% charging efficiency, as I mentioned. But secondly, it's a switching power supply. The faster you switch, the smaller the energy storage components can become inside the power supply so you can shrink them down. They hold less energy per cycle because I'm switching so fast that I can miniaturize these little passive components. So you're physically shrinking the size while delivering more power and not wasting that power with high charging efficiency. Wow, that is very cool. So Navitas makes the semiconductors, and then you guys are uh, you guys sell those components to the anchors and the uh, Belkins, right, Belkins and everybody. Great else. name and everybody. Even Verizon is getting in the game. Even for Nintendo Switch, you now have an adapter that can charge your Nintendo Switch fast, and it's got an HDMI port built right in. So the entire HDMI cradle and porting port device and the power are all combined together. So we're getting a lot of new creative ways now that power can be so powerful and fast charging, but also so small with new form factors and new functions integrated all together. I know there were dangers early on of, of trying to charge things too quickly, charging laptops too quickly. I never understood why. What, has that been circumvented with this in some way? It is in that we don't, uh, there's now very good, ever since the Samsung issue, there's very good battery protection circuitry on the mobile device side. But what's really happening too is that battery technology is slowly but surely getting better to handle more power and charge it faster. For, for decades, the standard was a 1C battery, which meant the maximum it could be charged is 0 to 100% in an hour. People, the mobile guys, are moving to 2C, 3C, 4C batteries, which literally means you can go from 0 to 100% in 15 minutes, 12 minutes, 10 minutes. That's very exciting, but the only way you do that is by delivering a ton of power efficiently. That's where we come in. We solve that problem. What about uh, for laptops? Are we going to see it in there? It is, I think, slowly happening the same thing. They're already at 60 watts, going to 100 watts. You want to charge those very fast. And the beautiful thing now is that we have a powerful enough charger to charge your laptop fast, but it's small enough you wouldn't mind carrying it with your phone. 
Right. I, well, I've got a uh, I've got a 60 inch MacBook Pro, and my I think my uh, my power adapter weighs more than the laptop. Right. Right. Exactly. So we're really changing the mindset of having a charger per mobile device: one for your phone, one for your tablet, one for your laptop. But actually, one that's powerful enough for your laptop and smaller than you're used to, but small enough to carry with your phone or your tablet. So you have one device to do everything. That's what we need. Now we don't need to even carry power strips with us on travel like we yeah, usually do, yeah, right? Exactly. Make it all go away. Simplify your world. Unclutter the world. One device, one cable, and you're done. Very cool. So if people want to learn more about gallium nitride, should they go to Navitas.com? Actually, they can go to Navitas.com where we have a consumer-facing site called GANFAST.com. Very simple. You can see all the GAN chargers, learn about the technology, where to buy them, have a buy now button. It's all, it's all there. GANFAST.com. That's fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Thank you very much, Eugene. I'll, I'll see you at Thanksgiving, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, my cousin. Take care. <laughs>